Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. Today we're going to be setting up the right weapon collision boxes. So, let's go ahead and open up the Wukong character header file and Wukong character CPP file. So what we need is, we come down here, and if we type in U box components, we make that a pointer, and you type in right weapon collision now when you type that in you come up here to the header and you see that I have components box components make sure that that header is included or you will get an error also I'm going to copy the U property here and go ahead and paste it in the category we are going to set it up for combat category. So that is the U-Box component for the right weapon collision. Now what we need to do is we need to jump into the CPP file. I already have a project that I have this set up with so I'm going to copy some code and then paste it inside here. So if we do the get character movement right underneath here this is within the constructor. What we need to do is add a create default sub object. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And right weapon collision box is the comment. And you want to do right weapon collision because that's what we named it in the header file. You want to do a create default sub object, make it a U box component. And then call it right weapon box. You can call it whatever you want right here. And then you want to do a right weapon collision, set up attachment. You want to get mesh. And then F name is going to be right weapon bone because we're going we are going to attach it to a bone and we are going to create that bone when we get into the editor. So set up attachment. As you can see, the using component and parent and F name and socket name, set up attachment. That's what we want to do. We want to attach the weapon collision to the right weapon bone that we are going to be creating. Okay, so next step we need to do is set up the right weapon collision boxes and we begin play. So I'm going to go ahead and copy what I have in another project. Come over here and I'm going to paste this in. Now we want to set up right weapon collision box. So we want to set collision enabled to no collision. And then you want to set collision object type to e collision channel, ECC world dynamic. Then you want to set collision response to all channels. E collision response is ECR ignore. And then set collision response to channel. That would be e collision channel, ECC pawn, e collision response, ECR overlap. And basically what this is doing is we only want to have the collision hit for a pawn. So the right weapon set collision enabled to no collision. Then the collision object type is going to be world dynamic. Then set collision response to all channels. You want to ignore that. And set collision response to the channel. And the channel we are going to be setting is... ECC pawn. So E collision response, ECR overlap. So when it overlaps, it's going to respond. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this and jump into the editor. So when we compile this, the collision box sh should show up on the character blueprint. And of course, we have to set the bone to right weapon bone. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into the editor and add that. So right weapon bone because we set up attachment to the right weapon bone. So I want to copy that and then jump into the editor because if we go to the character and we bring it up open blueprint editor as you can see we have right weapon collision we have it set right here however if you go to the viewport as you can see it's down by the feet and we need it attached to a bone with the right hand so we're going to be adding a right hand weapon bone so the easiest way to to get that is just click on the mesh and then right here we we can browse to the Wukong character. As you can see here, we can just open it up. And then go over to the top right, Wukong Skeleton. Open that up. I'm just going to close this tab. Now, right here you want to find the right hand. And I think it's just called our hand and ah hand underscore R so if you search for hand and you go to hand underscore R as you can see we can attach it to that but what I'm going to do is I am going to right click and I am going to add socket I said that we were going to add a bone it's not a bone it's going to be a socket so add socket and that is the socket hand our socket we want to rename that to right weapon bone so make sure that this is right weapon bone because if the name is incorrect, it is not going to attach it to that. So if we jump back to the Wukong character blueprint, you can see that it's attached. And what I'm going to do is unclick real time. I just clicked a little icon there with the lines and I unchecked real time. So now it is there we have right weapon collision is attached to the right weapon bone modify it and sometimes it gets stuck I noticed it gets stuck where it's not letting you change it it's just staying at at the movement one and I know sometimes you have to click off and then click back on to be able to get that I wish they would fix that but what we can do is we can just go ahead and maneuver this collision box right into place and we'll just go ahead and get that right there so I think that looks about right you can make it perfect if you want. There we go. Okay. And then we just go ahead, compile, and save. So now that the weapon collision is set there, what we are going to do in the next video is set up the anim notifies. So if we go into... Wukong character here 
we need to add a add a anim notifier. So the weapon collision is not enabled. But when you go here, you want to enable the collision box. And then when the attack is done, you need to disable the collision box. Now a lot of times what you'll see is in the tutorials they'll do the blueprints, the anim notifiers. And what we are going to do is right here where it says add notify state, we are going to add our own custom anim notify state. And we're going to do that within C++ and it's going to show up here. And what that's going to do is it's going to enable and disable the collision boxes. And bye for now.